Hi, it's Suzanne and um, still here in New York City. <clears throat> Today, I am going to listen to the 10 finalists from Norway's Melody Grand Prix um, and give you my reactions, my opinions, tell you who I think should win because, well, we all know that what I think matters, at least I think what I think matters. So, here we go. <music> is Alexander Reback um, and Alexander Reback is singing um, that's how you write a song so if I'm not mistaken um, he has been in Eurovision before he's maybe even pl and placed really really well um, but again as you all know I <clears throat> tend to follow after the fact so Okay, let's listen to Alexander Rebeck's That's How You Write a Song. It's very lively. I can see, you know, it being played in a club. I can see it being a fan favorite. Um, you know, I can see jamming to it in the car. This song to me is just really kind of basic. Um, but the song itself just doesn't do a whole lot for me, although he is just cute as a button. The next song is, let's see, Alexander Wallman, Talk to the Hand. So, you know, I'm looking at this guy's face and he's just got so much positive energy. Um, kind of has a Justin Timberlake-ish look, so I'm looking forward to listening to Alexander sing Talk to the Hand. Here we go. Push it far away. There are so many things I'd like to push far away. Never going backwards, tired of the nonsense. Talk to the hand. Talk to the hand because your face ain't listening. All right, I love this. Um, you know, you will probably get tired of hearing me say, wow, I'm, I'm loving this empowerment theme. But there just seems to be a very um, earthy, spiritual, getting back to what really matters undertone in general to Eurovision this year. And talk to the hand, it's about getting rid of the nonsense, living a life, and being surrounded by what's meaningful. So yeah, I, I like this song, and I think we should all say talk to the hand a little more often so that we create that space for ourselves and for what matters. Next song from Norway's Melody Grand Prix is we have Charla Kay singing Stop the Music. Um, Charla Kay is beautiful. Um, she has a very angelic face. I love the way her makeup is done. Um, let's hear what Charla Kay has, what Charla Kay has to sing. Great start, lively. Beautiful voice. Oh, it's a love song. While I'm not a huge fan of love songs, if this is about being brave and putting yourself out there and finding that love even though you've been hurt, that's a great concept also. I like the song. I like the song a lot. Okay, moving on to the next song. Um, we have Ida Maria singing Scandi Love. So I'm going to assume this is a love song. I'm going to assume this is perhaps about scandalous love. Um, she has a very interesting, wild look to her. And just based on the way she looks, I can tell that she's gonna be a fun artist. So here we go. Oh, this is fun. You can be the nurse and I'll be the doctor. Hmm. You be the pool, I'll be the diver. Okay, I'm digging the role play. 
can you make love like a Scandinavian? So role play, making love like a Scandinavian. I don't know what a Scandinavian makes love like, but maybe I should find out. Um, so it's not about scandalous love at all. I like the song. Okay, this is a fun song. Totally love it, totally dig it. Love the beach, love how edgy she is, love how edgy the song is. This is great. Um, good luck to Ida Maria with Scandy Love. The next song up is by Nicolene, and she is singing Light Me Up. In outer space now, it's where we rewrite. Away from all the people, away from all the street noise. Illuminating, we keep escaping. Flying through waterfalls. Hmm. Love her hair. Love that white hair. Okay, this is a love song for sure about someone lighting her up. He lights her up like fire. I feel like the same words are just being repeated over and over and over again. Yeah, I, um, I'm not so much feeling this song, though. I like her. I'm sure that it's just this particular song that's not doing it for me. So, um, moving right along. Moving on to Rebecca singing Who We Are. Rebecca, Who We Are. Rebecca looks beautiful. She looks so young. How sweet. Don't walk away. I'm begging you. Because this is who I am and this is what I do. Oh, it's very pretty, which doesn't surprise me. I'm so afraid. Oh, this is a love song. She's afraid of losing someone, asking them to not walk away. Changing me won't do you good. Amen, sister. This kind of goes along with the empowerment thing. So I like the song now that I know that it's not truly the type of love song that I thought it was. She's talking about her sadness, um, that she's not who someone thought she was, but she knows who she is and she's paying homage to who she is. So again, it goes back to that empowerment concept. So I like it. Way to go, Rebecca, with who we are. And I look at the screen as though I could actually talk to her. Hello, what's wrong with me? The next song up in Norway's Melody Grand Prix is by Stella and Alexandra. Stella and Alexandra sing, You Got Me. These girls are just way too cute. Um, oh my gosh, and I haven't even started the song yet, but they're way too cute. Oh my gosh, this is such a cute song. Okay, kind of seems like this is about new love, but it's fun. And I dig these girls. Because it's a happy song about finding that true love and finding that person who gets you. You know, you can take that in so many ways. You got me as in you got my heart, or you got me as in you get me. You're one of my people. Love this song. The lyrics are great, the singing's great, the rapping talking's great, Stella and Alexandra are great. I wish these ladies so much luck. Love them. I am currently taking a sabbatical from dating because in four and a half years of being single, no one has quite got me. But when I'm ready to start dating again, I am gonna listen to this song, They Got Me. Next up, we have Tom Hugo singing I Like, I Like, I Like. Okay, Tom, tell us what you like. Can't beat the feeling. You shouldn't stop what gets you going. Get in the spotlight cause you're grooving Rock your body to the music, don't stop moving yeah. Rock your body to the music, don't yeah. stop moving and I like just the way you are In my eyes or a model Dancing like a star No matter what you do This sounds like a song that um, John Legend would write for Chrissy Teigen Cause I A love song it's cute, um, don't dislike it, but um, it doesn't really grab me. But I can see how this could totally be a couple song. 
Okay, good luck, Tom Hugo. The last song that I'll be listening to today, um, Norway's Melody Grand Prix, is sung by Vidar Via, and he is singing Morin Den. And I know the way I pronounce these names and the names of these songs is just so embarrassing for me. It's a good thing I can laugh at and with myself. I hope you can too. Very positive, very upbeat. He's cute. He has kind of an Ed Sheeran-ish type look. Nice beat. Um, can't understand a word he's saying and that's okay. Nice song. I really like the way the song opens up, that melody that it begins with. Um, it's just so upbeat. Um, I somehow forgot to listen to Alejandro Fuentes singing Tingo Otra as I listen to all of Norway's songs from Melody Grand Prix. So let's listen to what Alejandro sings now. Okay, I, I really like this song. Um, it has a great beat. This song very much reminds me of Enrique Iglesias singing Contigo. Um, so I can see how this would be a fan favorite. I love the Latin flavor that it brings forth. I think that this song is gonna do really, really well, even if it does not proceed. So, having now listened to the 10 finalists from Norway's Melody Grand Prix, um, I'm going to narrow my thoughts down to three because we all know that what I think matters, or at least I think what I think matters. Okay, so this, is, this one's really kind of easy for me. I had a really hard time um, narrowing it down, as you all know, when I reacted to Eurovision 2017. Um, I, I got down to two and I just couldn't make a decision. Um, so at least I'm gonna narrow it down to three and I won't have to make a decision because I really, really like three of these acts. So the first um, of the three, and in no particular order really, um, is Alexander Wallman singing Talk to the Hand. Again, I just really, I love his Justin Timberlake-ish energy and his positive vibe. And I love the whole concept of Talk to the Hand. I'm gonna hold near to me what really matters. Um, get rid of the nonsense, get rid of the BS, great concept. Um, my second top three is Ida Maria singing Scandi Love. And I just loved this song. I loved the role play. I love the playfulness. I love the fun. I love how edgy she is. Um, and then, you know, having listened to my thoughts on all 10 songs, um, I'm sure that you're not surprised by either of those picks, and you won't be surprised by my third either. And again, this is in no particular order. I, I don't know that I would choose one over the other because I like all three, and we certainly don't want to spend the next 10 minutes trying to narrow it down because, you know, it might take longer than that. But um, my third top three, um, again, my, my next one is Stella and Alexandra with You Got Me. This song is just, it's so much fun. I love that they're jamming together. They look like they're the very best of friends. Maybe they are, who knows. Um, they're singing, they're talking, they're rapping, and it's just, they're living life, they're having fun. And that comes across in the song. And it's about finding that true love who gets you, not just your heart, but gets you, mind, body, spirit. Um, and so I, I love this song. So, 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 so much luck to all 10 finalists, but my top three in no particular order are Alexander Wallman, Talk to the Hand, Ida Maria, Scandi Love, and Stella and Alexandra with You Got Me. So that's all for now. See you later. Bye. Oh, <laughs>